Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Delilah Rose. This is Delilah Spiritual Spot coming with a walkthrough and unboxing of the Oni Tarot. I kickstarted this deck, I want to say, earlier in the year. Uh, so it's been a little wait, but it, was, it seems to be well worth it. Um, and if you have any questions about, you know, the cards, let me know. Um, oh my God, and it's a beautiful thank you note here. And it's just thanking me for the purchase on Kickstarter um, and just talks about other other items she has. She's an artist. Uh, she has for sale and um, and gave me a little coupon. Well, that's wonderful. So let's turn this around because I actually have it backwards. So the Oni Tarot. Let's show you the box. The box is really pretty. And I like this artist because she actually was the... She actually updated more often than other creators um, on social media and on Kickstarter and I really like that there was no guessing as to when the cards would be available she like kept you updated through each step of the process and I think that's very important especially when you wait so long for decks so two-piece tuck box beautiful beautiful artwork and design and let's just get into the card style. I, there is some nudity in here, nothing obscene or grotesque. So use this opportunity now, if that's not your thing, to uh, click off. But we're gonna start right here. And we start with uh, the pages here. So um, just doing a quick, not in the traditional order we see tarot cards, but that's okay. So we go right here. And that's what I'm talking about, uh, nudity. Just loving women's bodies in all body shapes, colors, and forms. What a great representation of the sun card. I mean, I really like the artwork. Look at this Empress card. Possibly, I've seen this card before. One of my favorites. Here's Temperance, the world. I mean, it's breathtaking. I know I normally just blather on when I do these, but I'm just um, taking it all in. Three of Wands here. So I don't um, see any like in a traditional Rider Waite Smith. I mean, in some cards, like maybe this Two of Cups, you can see an um, an homage to the Rider Waite Smith in its traditional sense. Um, but some no. Some is just solely based on the artist's interpretation and the artist's artwork. Now, I will say that I I don't necessarily, I wouldn't, if I was a new reader, right, who was reliant on keywords, I wouldn't begin with, with this deck. If you use your intuition to read, um, I would use this deck. I started reading um, not knowing traditional definitions. I, I'm a, I use my intuition to read, um, but of course I did eventually learn uh, the traditional tarot by journaling. I even still journal with new decks. I will journal with this deck. I will sleep with this deck right i currently have one under my pillow that's going to take a couple more days this is the last deck i reviewed on the channel um but i will take a couple of days and i will sleep with a deck um just to see look at this card just to see you know what i'm picking up from from the deck what it what it's trying to say to me what it's trying to represent um there's also decks i just use 
I have universal readers. I also have readers for specific, like finance. If I'm doing a live free reading, I use my universal readers. So the Ethereal Tarot and the um, Lightseer's deck are my universal readers. I don't know, I, I have a feeling that this is gonna be a universal reader for me. Um, yeah, this is gonna be a universal reader for me. So I love having that. And then, you know, when I go out and hopefully start doing readings <laughs> with the public again, I will limit my decks on, to, uh, you know, what I carry on my person. That way I'm not weighing my bag down because I love to carry tarot. I mean, right now I have a knapsack that I just carried to my nine to five job with. I have like 10 decks in there. Yes, and I'm one of those people that will take lunch, sit by myself and start playing with my cards. It's not an invitation for people. I'm most likely to will not give you a reading <laughs> if I'm on my work time whether that's lunch because that's just me de-stressing from work it's not about giving readings and making money it's just how i like to wind down this is this card <laughs> i don't know why i'm just so nervous these cards are just gorgeous 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 i can't wait to put it to use but again I will journal with this especially this lover's card because lover sometimes is a self reflection right that's what I'm getting when I look at that card like loving yourself for some reason and your love should be reflected in your partner right because it is a partnership it's not a one-way street. The strength card. I just love it. I love it. I hope you guys love it too. Really check out her artwork. I will leave um, her website information in the description. I will also tag her on this video on Instagram. I probably will upload a portion of it on TikTok as well. We're winding down to the end. But if you're into shuffling, just give me a second. I am going to shuffle the deck. Look at the page. Right. And I like it because she created this artwork based on her best friend, right? So her best friend is her muse. And it's a lovely story uh, about, you know, their friendship and her inspiration behind conducting this artwork. The deck is large, so my small hands will have to separate them. So give me a second. I will shuffle this half and then I will shuffle the other half. Right. So let's talk about it. So the GSM is great. It is glossy. So automatically glossy te decks tend to shuffle really well because it's a lot of slip. So that makes sense. Um, it's a good card stock, not too stiff where it's not forgiving, where I'm forcing the shuffle. Like I'm not using too much pressure on my hands, um, which is important to me because, you know, I am 46 years old. So, and I, you know, type for a living. So my hands are very important in this practice and in my job practice. I still have too many cards because I'm having trouble gripping. But anyway, get this deck. This is the back. Lovely, lovely cards. She did an amazing job. Um, and I look forward to seeing what other projects she has. She has a great sticker collection, so you might want to check out her Etsy store as well. So again, I'll leave it in the description box. Thanks, guys. See you later.